Hey YouTube, it's Charisma and in today's video I'm going to be talking about protein products that I use for my hair and specifically for my crown area I've noticed a big difference. So today I'm going to be talking about Afogee. The Afogee products I've used, these are the only ones I've used so far, I haven't used the other ones. I've used the Keratin and Green Tea Re I'm always not able to say it. Let's see. The Keratin and Green Tea Restructurizer, this right here, and the Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor. So I'll talk about each of them in a minute. First and foremost, um, I would say if you are a person who thinks that you might need more protein in your hair, or if you're a person who doesn't know anything about protein, what's the point of it all? Well, to maintain healthy hair, basically you need a protein and a moisture balance. Protein is mainly for strength, and moisture is really for the moisturization and softness of your hair. So you wanna always maintain a balance. Like if your hair has too much protein and it's too hard, you may have, you know, if you have too much protein in your hair, protein is for structure and strength, your hair is going to get too hard. If your hair is too limp and, you know, too moist, like you have too much water, too much moisturization going on, it's kind of limp, you know, like people who wet their hair a lot, but then they don't balance it out with protein will have that problem where their hair just, it just doesn't look right. It's just really, really limp and mushy. That's what it'll look like. And um, I know it could be a lot for people who are new to doing their natural hair and don't really know too much about, you know, protein and moisture, but that's really it in a nutshell. So if you feel like you've been experiencing lots of breakage, it could be due to the fact that your hair is weak and it needs protein. However, when you do put protein in it, you don't want to put, you want to use protein as needed you don't want to use protein all the time all the time all the time because you're going to have too much of it so if you see your hair is a little bit weak and you need some strength use the protein until it gets stronger and then chill for a minute and then you can start using it again when you feel like you need a little bit more same thing with the moisture like um, most of the time, um, you probably need to moisturize your hair at least once a day. Everyone's different, so I don't know. But um, you're going to need moisture because if you don't spray your hair with water, and water is the only moisture, you can get products that also contain water. That will help too, but you're going to need to do that because if you don't, then your hair gets dry. So you want to maintain a protein and moisture balance. So. Specifically for my crown area, you guys know I've done several videos on crown area breakage and you know personally what was causing my breakage and what did I do to overcome that uh, problem with my hair. So I noticed um, with the Afogee Keratin Green Tea, this one, the Green Tea Reconstructorizer, um, it definitely provides an added you know boost of protein on the spot so i'll read what it says it says afogy keratin and green tea restructurizer is the ultimate one step leave-in strengthening treatment the alcohol-free formula combines the benefits of keratin protein with antioxidant properties of green tea to protect and repair hair shaft it's saying that it bonds into the hair shaft with styling or body heat Regular use of on porous, damaged hair adds body, helps prevent breakage, controls frizz, helps preserve hair color and chemical services. So see the part where it says regular use of porous, damaged hair adds body, helps prevent breakage. That part pertains to me. So if you feel that you have highly porous hair um, and you want to strengthen your hair, I would definitely recommend this. I use this with every wash and um, I, I use it on all of my hair with every single wash. So I wouldn't believe I would get protein overload with this because I'm washing my hair every 7 to 10 days. So that's when I'm using it. So I don't believe you should use this every single day. I don't think so. I don't wash my hair every day. So no. So about every 7 to 10 days I'm definitely putting this 
on my hair all over. I make sure I put it in my crown area only because I want to continue to keep that area strong. I have high porosity hair, so I need a lot of strength in my hair. I need protein. I need things to make the hair shaft strong to combat breakage. And I noticed when I started using this, it has definitely helped to make my hair stronger. I don't have to deal with split ends as much anymore. I always spray this on my ends. I also spray it on my edges too, because I was figuring like, well, my edges are like really, really delicate. So why not put something that's gonna make them strong? So I definitely recommend this. A lot of people reach out to me and tell me they have issues with their crown area. And this is not only good for crown area, but I'm just saying if you have porous hair, if you have weak hair, if your hair is limp, if you're, you know, you don't know, I would say just give it a try. I'm not telling you that this is gonna be the answer to your problems because I don't know exactly what your hair history is, how you treat your hair, what's your medical history, you know, but I would say give it a try and see how it works. But again, with every wash, um, I would say to use this. And I, yeah, <laughs> that's all I can say. So now, with the Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor, again, this is something that you use as needed. You're not gonna use this all the time because you definitely don't want protein overload, which would make your hair hard. So I'll just read what it says. It says that this blend with keratin amino acids, botanical oils, and vitamins restores elasticity and softness to dry, brittle hair. In minutes, it penetrates and repairs damage caused by chemical services, styling and heat, even bleached, permed, or relaxed hair feels healthy again. Recommended for weekly use until hair feels and appears healthy again. So see, you're gonna be using this until your hair feels and looks healthy again, whatever it just said, I just said. Um, yeah, so basically what you would do after you shampoo, you would just put this in and it says that you can leave it in for, it says, uh, let's see, squeeze half an ounce into palm, use fingertips, work evenly through hair and into scalp. For maximum penetration, cover hair with a warm towel or a plastic cap for two minutes. Now, in extreme cases, you can leave this on for five minutes. I've left this on for as much as probably a half an hour. It really depends on what I'm doing. But again, if you don't have that time, this is something that you can do really, really quick. This is the Afogee Keratin Two Minute Reconstructor. Now they do have another one that is a two-step protein treatment. I've never used that one, so I really cannot speak on it. That's supposed to be like for the extreme, like if you have extreme damage, I don't know, thank goodness I don't have that. I'm not looking forward to having that, but um, that's something that you can use. I think I've seen some people on YouTube use it who haven't had extreme damage. I don't know, again, I haven't used it so I can't speak on that, but that's something that if you're watching and you feel like you need something stronger, something, you know, you have an extreme case of breakage or damage, you may wanna opt for the Apogee two-step. So yeah, that's my take on these two products. I really like them. This one, like I said, I put it on and leave it for, you know, I don't never leave it on for two minutes. I feel like two minutes is not a lot. Five minutes sometimes, because sometimes I do need a protein boost, but I don't have time to be doing like a deep conditioning. So when I don't have time to deep condition like a long time, I'll use this. And it definitely works. You will see it softens and strengthens your hair. Um, and it adds manageability to it too. I've been using this for years, so I really, really like it and I really, really recommend it. I get the big one because now my hair is growing so much that um, I'm using more product. So that's a really, 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 really good thing. Like you see with in natural hair, people think like it looks short because of shrinkage, but in all honesty, the shrinkage means that your hair is really, really healthy. You wanna really, um, you want to really embrace your shrinkage because I know everybody wants like long flowing hair They want to have those inches or whatever But the good thing about it is like you already have it So like you don't have to really prove to people that you do you can wear it in a fro like my hair like right now People don't know how long it is even if it grows they think it's staying the same length But in all actuality, it's you know 
you guys seen my like check i can't pull it all the way down but i don't want to mess up my hair but yeah you have to embrace your shrinkage i do have those days too where i'm just like oh my god all this shrinkage like i don't want my hair to look so short but you know it is what it is if you don't want your hair to look short some days you might want to stretch it out and then you know you have some length because i have those days too um yeah that's about it um and the good thing about shrinkage too is like my hair is growing but i'm noticing that it's getting fuller and fuller and fuller so that's what i really love like when my hair used to be shorter and i would wear it out um i would have shrinkage but i noticed like my hair was not full so the longer that your hair gets the bigger that your fro is gonna get so it might be up to here but like you'll have like a lot of volume so you know everybody likes big hair i love big hair so yeah so our hair is versatile we can wear it straight we can wear it in a fro we can wear it in twist outs braid outs cornrows braids we can do so many things and um yeah so embrace your hair embrace your shrinkage and if you have issues with your protein definitely check out these products this is not a sponsored video although i don't mind uh Afogee sponsoring me because i definitely use their products i bought these at my local beauty supply um i'll see if i can put a link to where you can get them online i do have i'm starting to do an affiliate program with amazon so I'm gonna see if I can link this. I still don't know how to do all that. Maybe if someone knows, let me know. But um, I did um, sign up to do like affiliate <laughs> marketing with Amazon, but I have to figure out how to link it in the description. Um, Guys, I have to tell you to definitely check out my online store, etsy.com slash shop slash charisma for you where I sell satin bonnets. This is a pink satin bonnet on one side and a polka dot on the other. I believe the polka dot is sold out, I think. But I still have pink and I still have lots and lots of other ones. My beautiful mannequin here, she's wearing this one, which I love. It's the ultimate girly bonnet. It has perfume bottles, beautiful high heels and you see the heels right there and it's just so cute and it's pink it's satin lined you can definitely wear on both sides and this will help protect your hair at night for those of you who like to go outside wearing a bonnet i don't do that but this would definitely be the ultimate bonnet to wear outside because it is too too cute I also sell the matching mask that I designed. So check out my online store, etsy.com slash shop slash charisma for you. I also sell satin scarves for those of you who like to wear head wraps and look stylish at the same time. I have so many different colors. I did a video on how to wear these. So check that video out and check these out on my online store. I have so many to choose from. I have hair socks. These are good for braids, twists, locks. They can, they're very versatile. They can be worn as a headband, as well as a sleep cap. Some people even wear them as a mask, like a gator. You have to put it over and it works. I've had people purchase these from me specifically for that and not for hair. So these are versatile. I have so many prints and designs to choose from. These are my latest designs that I'm gonna put up if they're not already, these two right here. I'm always adding new prints and stuff like that to my Etsy shop, so please check it out. I have so much, and I also do custom orders. Um, my new website is coming out, charismaforyou.com, where I'll be having a new product launch, guys. I can't wait to share that with you. charismaforyou.com, sign up on our email list, and I will definitely let you guys know about the giveaways and the things that's going on. But this month, I think it should be ready for you guys, and I can't wait to share my new product launch with you. It's not hair-related, although I will have other hair-related products on that site but i have a new product for you guys so thank you guys for watching follow me on instagram at charisma for you that's my personal instagram and my business instagram is at charisma for you fashion and please stay tuned guys because the sewing tutorials are going to be coming back again soon i know a lot of you guys watch me who sew and um i have helped you make some 
awesome outfits and I'll be coming back with those tutorials again soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye.